What's going on, everybody? It's Webster Style and Brian Sam from the NRW Checkpoint with another reaction of, in this case, the trailer for a movie to a book that I remember very vividly, well, at least hearing about it very vividly when I was a child. And it is, um, what is it? Are You Hear Me? <laughs> Are You Hear Me? God? Are You Hear Me? Yes. It's me. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I always get the title mixed up. You know, all the years of life, no one of this book and everything, and I still get it screwed up. Uh, I mean, so, a whole sense for a title, yeah, like <laughs> it, it really is. It really is. So, <laughs> let's get into the trailer for "Are You Hearing Me, God? It's Me, Margaret." Fifty years. Okay. Iconic book. Taking us back in the day. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. I'm here to speak to you today about your changing body. The blood is released through the vagina. Please, just do this one thing for me. Let me just be normal and regular like everybody else. Just please, 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 please. What I feel, I can't say. I've decided I want you to join my secret club. If you want to be in the club, then you have to wear a bra. Oh. Do you, you think you need one? Are you okay? Uh -huh. You can tell me the truth. Ah! Fine, good, yes. We have the Campus Improvement Committee. Any volunteers? Social Committee. Fundraising Committee. <sighs> and how are you? I read that when you don't have any loved ones around, your life expectancy drops drastically, but you know, I've had a good run. <laughs> All the time, doesn't it? I don't know if I want to do this. Just so that we're ready. Please, God, let it be a lady. <laughs> do you think any of us will look like that when we're 19? We must! We must! We must! <laughs> <laughs> what? It's okay uh, are you there god is me margaret uh, i'm surprised there hasn't been a feature film of this considered it's been as a 50 year old book mm -hmm. you know i'll say this it is very refreshing to see this movie come to the screen especially with that period 70s piece i think mm -hmm. it's 70s if not 60s mm -hmm. there is not a lot of that out anymore and how can I put it this way? And I think Kuya P definitely understands. It's nice seeing traditional sort of coming of age stories, mm -hmm. uh, especially definitely. when it comes to our little girls <laughs> compared to what we tend to see nowadays as far as what is a modern age coming of age story. And I think that's those stories are quite oh, horrifying, yeah. especially if you have children. <laughs> Yes, so sir. to see something like this that harkens back to a, a more uh, less connected and innocent time, I am I am all for it. And it looks like I I upload this, and I'm biased for certain reasons, but this is something that I just little girls don't have these sort of movies anymore. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited the fact that something like this is coming out where that age group like has a movie they can see and just be able to embrace because i think just looking at that regardless of of you know whether you're eight or 13 particularly you can identify with those little girls that i just saw in that movie so i am i'm i'm definitely down for this yeah i, I can uh agree with you i i don't um i don't necessarily see a whole lot of 
like period pieces like this anymore. Right. I think if I'm being like, I have to like search in my brain really quick. I guess maybe Stranger Things and then I don't know, Raising Canaan, <laughs> which are like two completely different shows, but you know, still <laughs> period pieces nonetheless. Either way, I, I do. I feel I kind of echo your same sentiments. I don't have children, but I have plenty of godchildren. Most of them are girls. That's how the that's how the, the draw worked out for me. But um yeah, that's not very many like wholesome, like you know, right. Just, that's the word uh, wholesome. Yeah, just wholesome, like just strictly a traditional coming of age story for what for girls to connect with. I mean, we have things like that in maybe the um animated space. You know, Disney tends to they keep up with the kids now. They try to do stuff like this. But right. So as like a live action movie that doesn't have kids like dying and <laughs> taking a extreme amount of drugs and stuff like that, not very much. Right. So I, I appreciate this. I don't know yeah. if I'll get to the theaters to see it, but you know, this book is uh, pretty well known. I've even heard the title before, even though I never read it. So right, same. When same. it comes on one of these streaming platforms, I'll check it out just to laugh because that whole. It got to. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, was funny because really it don't funny, work like man. that. But you have mm-hmm. to admire the um, innocence there of them just yes. feeling like, yeah, if I just because technically, if they was the bench press, it might pop out like that. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, they looking for something else uh, based on the centerfold. But um, yeah, it's a, like a dope little movie, man. It's not. I'm not mad at that at all. No, not at all. So that's our take on Are You There? God is Me, Margaret, based on the famous uh, Judy Bloom book coming out that was uh, in April of 2023. I feel like I said April 28th, but I don't remember exactly. But April of this year to be out in theaters. So that's our take on you're currently with Nerds Ruler World. Make sure you find us on Twitter at the NRW, on Instagram at New Release Wednesday. And of course, you're currently on YouTube. So make sure you like, share and subscribe. And eat your vegetables so you can.